Hello there parents, guardians and pupils of King's School. My name is Mr Palmer and I am the Head of Media Studies and Photography here at King's. Um, thank you for watching this video and considering Media Studies or Photography as a course. Um, I teach Media Studies alongside my colleague Mr Simpson and Photography alongside my colleagues Mr Fletcher and Mr Alderman. Now I'm going to start with Media Studies. We are currently with the EDUCAS exam board, which is part of the WJEC exam board, the Welsh board, um, and EDUCAS is their UK arm, essentially, or their, sorry, their, in, their, their arm for England and, and Ireland and Scotland as opposed to their Welsh arm. Now, in our subject, we look at the following texts throughout the two years. We look at newspapers, magazines, advertising and promotion, video games, radio, and film and television and you can see a few examples of the products that we look at on the right um, it's split into two courses i'm going to talk talk to you about that later or two exams rather um, and one of them features luther where we look at a small film clip in the exam and then have to analyze the representation of the characters now during the two-year course all of our classwork is um, created through OneNote. you can see an example there on the OneNote page on the left hand side of a breakdown of the introduction section. So each lesson we will share the lesson with pupils and they will be able to access this OneNote from any device at any time. So it's great for a revision. Um, as parents or guardians, you can see always what we're doing in lesson and what your um, sons or daughters have been doing as well in lessons and keeping tabs on them, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, OneNote's great as well um, because we can link a whole load of resources into it and it's very visual and we have lots of links to YouTube videos um, and, and screenshots of websites as we go through the subject across the two years. Now in terms of what the course looks like as a whole, it is 30% coursework. I'm going to show you next a few examples of this year's current coursework. Uh, the pupils will get a brief and they have to choose what product to create. So the brief might be, say for example, um, you need to create a product based at, uh, aimed at teenagers and it has to be for film, say, in the thriller genre or for a magazine, it has to be a general interest magazine or something of that ilk. So they will have a set target audience that they need to create it for. Last year, pupils could look at film promotion. Um, this is where they create a DVD cover or a, po a poster, uh, creating a music video or creating a three pages out of a, a magazine. Um, now, we like to lend our equipment as much as possible because we feel that products look much better with photographs taken outside of school. Otherwise, we'll end up with loads of DVD covers with pupils in uniform and they won't really look as realistic as they could do. Um, we, we happily lend equipment to pupils, uh, usually on a weekly basis. We have five HD video cameras, three GoPro Heroes, we have 42 DSLRs, and next door to our lessons, we also have our own photography, film and audio recording studios. So pupils can use this space after school if they want at any time um, to really get their products looking as professional as possible. Within lessons, we have a whole suite of packages. We mostly use um, Photoshop, although we do have InDesign, um, and we can teach that for pupils who would like to make their uh, their magazines and DVD covers look as authentic as possible. And for video editing, we mostly use Serif Movie Plus, but we also have Sony Vegas for those people pupils who would like to push themselves a little bit further. So a wide variety of software and hardware within our department. Um, here are some examples of current pupils work so this is an example of a dvd cover uh, there was a poster to go with this one um, but i haven't put it on the slide unfortunately um, so you can see we we push our pupils to take their own photography make it look as natural as possible um, and pick out most of the key conventions of the product so they have to get their titles looking good they have to consider their font and their font style and, and placement and everything else and their age rating to go along with it to make them look as professional as possible here are some examples of some magazines. So the front cover is on the left and the double page spread on the right. Um, last year, pupils had to produce front front page and, and uh, front cover and a double page spread. Uh, in prior years, they also had to produce a contents page, but I'm not sure if the example will do that going forward. So again, lots of the conventions you can see here to make it look as realistic as possible. Things like um, the, the drop caps and the pull quotes, etc. in the double page spread.
Uh, the next I'm going to show you, next slide is uh, a, 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 an example from a pupil of a TV intro for a new soap. And I won't talk on that over that to, because I don't want to spoil the product for you. Um, in terms of the examinations, uh, I alluded to this briefly earlier, but there are two examinations in the Media Studies course alongside the coursework. The first one is a Component 1 exam worth 40%. Um, it consists of studies of print set products. Um, there are two sections to it. So they, the pupils would have a print set product, say, of, of the Mirror newspaper, and they would have to compare it to an extract from the Sun newspaper and then talk about the the um, institutions behind it. Um, so who owns the Sun newspaper, for example, might be a question. Um, and on section B of that, they, they look at um, products such as the Archers or Fortnite, and it can be a selection of one of these. And then they have a few brief questions based on audience appeal for those as well. The Component 2 exam um, is currently Luther for us. We look at TV crime drama, so we compare it to uh, the Sweeney currently and other TV crime drama shows. That is 30%. And in the exam, they will have a short clip, uh, one and a half uh, minutes of Luther, that they would then need to analyse within the first half of the exam. And then the section B of that exam will be looking at uh, music videos, even though they don't watch a clip, they have to do that from memory, um, and and uh, artist promotion, such as through websites of the artist. So currently we're looking at Taylor Swift, Bad Blood, uh, Bruno Mars's Uptown Funk, and TLC's Waterfalls as three of their set products. And they would look at how those artists are promoted by their... Um, by their record labels. Now, the big question is, where will media studies take me? Um, the in, By 2022, it's been predicted that the, the, the media industry will be worth 72 billion to UK industry, and we don't know where our industry is going at the moment, um, but 3% annual growth has been predicted. In terms of job roles, there are a lot there on, on the page that you can see. Um, and we, we cover all of these key industries within media studies as well, so that pupils can then um, decide upon what aspect of media they like best and take that forward to college and university, whether it be journalism or whether it be the web-based design that they do or whether it be video game design. Who knows? There are a lot there to choose from um, and it's growing exponentially every year as well. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is media studies. We're now going to move on to photography. Now, photography, we used to be with AQA. Uh, we switched to Educast last year so that both of our uh, departments are in line and we, we use Educast for both. Now, in terms of what photography is, um, it's essentially an art and design course. So as a result of this, pupils are expected to produce a drawn element into their work, but 99% of their work will be through uh, Photoshop and camera based. Um, we create images in school using digital or photographic methods. We do have a dark room. Unfortunately, we're slowly having to break it down um, because of COVID restrictions, because we can't staff it during lessons, because we have to be in the room. We just aren't getting much use out of it at the moment. But we still do have analog cameras. We can lend those to pupils if they would like to go the analog route. However, we do push digital a lot more um, because it's quicker and easier um, in, in our lessons and, and due to our restricted time that we have. Um, we cover the whole aspect of, of photography. We look at portraiture, 
Um, we show pupils how to do location photography in school and then hope that they take more outside of school. We have our studio that I talked about during the media studies uh, presentation. Um, and we also have two uh, professional pop-up studios with, with spotlights and flash strobe lights in, in both rooms as well. So pupils have lots of areas that they can take photography in. Um, we run Photoshop. We also have iPads with apps like Procreate um, and Teosu Sketches. So we have a variety of ways that pupils can experiment with their imagery. We also have lots of physical uh, methods that pupils can, can use. So we have um, needles, threads, um, fabrics, um, lots of different types of paper. So if they would like to um, physically manipulate their photography, they're able to as well. Um, we, we do a little bit on photojournalism and documentary style photography um, and fashion photography in our studio as well we look at. Now in terms of the photography course, uh, we, we split it between the intro unit which runs from September till December where we teach pupils about how to use the camera, all the different technical aspects of the camera and they produce uh, an introductory portfolio based on all these aspects showing their responses. So you'll see some examples later on but say for example we study aperture, pupils create a help sheet for themselves saying what aperture priority is. Um, and and then they produce their responses in, in line with it. And then the coursework is, is across two different units based on a theme. So currently the theme in year 10 is natural forms or mental health or shadows and reflections. Pupils choose one of those and then create a portfolio based on that theme across the two units. And then the exam unit, which is the, the final 40% of the GCSE, um, which is essentially a coursework unit as well, responding to a theme. But then they have a 10-hour exam around, around Easter uh, in which to finish off, create their final piece uh, and submit their course. Now, here is a studio, uh, a photo of our studio, a little bit messy in this shot, but you can see it in action. Um, we have that live camera on in lessons so we can send pupils off and we can put that up onto the board in lesson and they have that, that independent space to, to be creative in. And here are some examples of pupils' work. So they start with looking at um, different themes and then they find photographers. So this pupil has looked at David Lieb there and, and light painting around subjects. Um, and the second photographer in the style of Ty Redding um, and creating kind of geometric shapes um, and, and overlays in, in their photography. So we look at lots of different styles. We teach a lot of different styles through Photoshop, but also we can teach physical um, development as well, as you're going to see in the next page here. Um, pupils are then expected to take some of their ideas that they found through their photographer research and then develop them by making them better, by tweaking them, by improving the photography and improving the brightness or contrast through Photoshop, adding extra layers, making them more creative or surreal, whatever it may be. And all of this then leads into creating a final piece. And each final piece we print for the pupils on A3 so they get a nice piece of work that they can take home at the end of the course. The course is now fully digital. So pupils will be doing all of this in, into PowerPoints that they can then take home and work on through OneDrive. Um, the only physical thing we print is these final, are these final pieces. Um, in terms of where photography might take you, similar to, to with media studies, um, but the growth there of the creative industries can be seen through these infographics. Um, and a few of the jobs down there on the left um, are, are where photography may take you. So I hope this, this presentation um, shows you what media and photography is all about and where it might take you in the future and we hopefully will see you next year all the best bye bye